Hey there, fans. This is Rick Feinberg. I'm here once again with this man, Corey Castle. We're here for another exciting podcast here. CoreyCastle.com. My website. Go there. You can read all about his his blogs and his misadventures with women. We'll uh, we're going to start off this podcast again with another exciting match: Chris Wilde versus Hybrid. Look, man. Yes. Chris. Chris Wilde, to me, is sort of undeniable. I, I, I mean, I don't really like to give many guys a lot of credit, but Chris Wilde... The guys put together, there's no denying that. Chris Wilde, I mean, and then going up against Hybrid, Hybrid's, hybrid's established, man. And, uh, kind of excited to see it, and uh, I, I don't really have anything funny to say, so just watch this freaking match. Man. We're good, all right. We're just going to go right into it. Why the hell not? We're going to start it out like we always do. We're gonna go, and we're gonna go down to ringside with Carolina Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome the leader of the kingdom of heaven, Miss Shannon. Oh, uh, we go from bad to worse. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Kingdom of heaven. These are your buddies right here. Well, let me, I'm gonna explain something about. Sound barrier in there here. How, how would you like to come home to that girl and be about a half hour late? I am leaving. I don't think I can do it. I don't know how any man can do it. And like the regular U.S. Army, I'm always looking for a few good men. Wow. Listen to these fans. Not another. Get up and pay your respects to the heart killer. Who have they got? Who they got? Wild. Chris Wild. Wow, back in WP. Chris Wild, the guy from ECWA. You gotta be kidding me. This, this guy right here. This guy went all the way to the semifinals of Jim Kennedy. You remember this? One of the top light heavyweights anywhere in the world, much less the Northeast Indies. The heart killer, but I'm not sure if Hybrid even has the heart to kill. This guy gives me the creeps. There's something wrong with this guy, but hey, the fans love him. And did you hear them? They were talking smack about Team New Era. What do you think of that? But here we go, seven ring calling up on tile. He doesn't have big ones, so uh. Tell you, very interesting matchup here. Look at that, a kick right to the. Hey! Now that was a low blow, we all saw it. Hip toss by Chris Wilde. I'll tell you, you know who this Chris Wilde reminds me of? He reversed the hip toss. He saw that arm drag. I'll tell you. Listen to how he interacts with you out here. You got, you got money on this guy or something? I'm just, I recognize superior wrestling talent. And Chris Wilde is good. I'll say it again, look at that as he followed through with the arm drag. You know who he reminds me of? As we're looking at the arm bar here. He reminds me a lot in the terms of looks and work ethic that he has behind him. Trent Aston. Oh, listen to these fans here. Very much so. These fans have come alive. They want to. Oh! Holy mackerel. I know you saw that. Absolutely. And these three guys are all. They're, 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 they're all they really get the fans into this one. You know, it hasn't necessarily been too long ago. He was not liked here at all, Hybrid, but I'm telling you, these fans have taken instant liking to him. Got the legs grapevined in there. He left, left no, no recourse. Ooh, you heard it's that one. Loud. Yeah, you heard that one loud I and didn't clear. I that one, but he blew her a kiss. She, she rebuffed the man. What, what? Watching there. Beautiful drop, 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 drop to knows where he is at all times. Boy, you're out here trying to do my job too, calling a drop told. Slides up and under. Oh, slap right to the face. Is he going to springboard in the middle of the ring here? Oh, he went he for went, it. He went too, too much time with that one. Nice looking senton there being connected. No, there's a the clothesline. 
And that's the second cause line. Knocks him down now as Hybrid. Match well in hand. Scoop right in the middle of the ring. He might have him here. Two. Had enough oh. to kick out. You know, you go get last minute. You take this breath. You went for the last minute to expend his energy to kick out. Boy, and I'll tell you what hot action that we are seeing here. And it's freezing cold and in the snow. And all these fans brave enough came out today. Oh, this is in the corner, though. The snow did not deter the fans. No, that's what you call real fans. Hooks in. Look at his clutch that he's got on him here. It's in the middle of the ring. This one could be over. Listen to these fans. The second of them. He's taking advantage of He's going to tap. Look at it. You listen to your oxymoron on a perfectly legal choke. What next? Well, I'm telling you, you guys are just going to see it the way you want to. A perfectly legal choke. I think I've heard everything now. Well, if, uh, well, if you know anything about mixed martial arts, that was called a rear naked choke. Perfectly legal. Big right to the face. I don't think you caught all of it now. Press regardless now. Only one's up a two on that one. Pretty shot. This thing's been back and forth. What a match we are seeing here. Fans, there's nothing like coming down here live. You have to see it. There's nothing like coming to see WPW live at Riverside Beneficial Arena. Not breaker. Renovated Riverside Beneficial Arena. And you see it there. I mean, a gorgeous set up here. Two count. We almost had a match over with here. Look at how distracted poor Hybrid is. I mean, you got Miss Shannon waving all kinds of stuff at him. Well, you know, creatures like Hybrid are attracted to shiny, pretty things. And she's an angel in white. Hey, what's she doing on the ring apron here? She's counseling her I wonder man. if we could get a shot of that. She's up on the ring apron here. She's counseling her man. She's making sure it's okay. She's distracting him is what she's doing. He was up all the way to the top rope See, here. That's well, that's how you lose matches. Yeah. You get distracted. Hey, she's got nowhere to go with this setup that we got here. She's backed up against the ramp here. She's got nowhere to go. Hybrid should be worried about winning the match. Oh, my God. Crashes and burns. And that's some of the risk you take with a high-risk maneuver. Holy Moses! If he gets up from that, I'll be shocked. I'll be more shocked than anything. Holy mackerel! Jesus God, he just pushed him aside like trash. He was lucky with enough presence of mind to step out of the way. And poor Chris Wild just crashed and burned. I hate to see that happen to any athlete, even if it is Chris Wild out here. He's got a chance to finish him off here. And if you're going to do it, do it. No, he missed. Talk about crashing and, and burning. Misses. He came down like a heap. Chris Wilde is actually on his feet. Barely on his feet. Chris Wilde had presence of mind. We knew where Hybrid was coming from. Hooks him now. Gut wrench. Gut wrench power. Oh, my God. And if Hybrid can get up from that, Hybrid he is not human. You take that kind of punishment. Frog splash. This thing's got to be over. It's got. Oh, he kicked out. He kicked out. He kicked out. What kind of officiating is Red Curly doing? What are you talking about? He kicked out. There's a perfectly executed frog splash. You want to talk about hard? He just got gut wrench power bombed on the stroke. Fires in a punch. This thing is so back and forth. Off the Irish whip and reversal. Wheelbarrow. Hooks him on the inside cradle. Didn't get all of it there. Hooks him in. Is he going to try to cradle him backwards? Oh, no. He's got it locked in. He's reaching for the net. He's not going to have any chance. Oh, he's got to tap. He's got to tap. After getting he's dropped on his head. That's right. Submission. Nobody will think any less of him. Nobody, nobody will think any less of him if he gives this one up. And the rear. Nobody will think any less of him if he gives this one up. He's been dropped on his neck, for God's sake. And now that his heart's broken, he's smitten with Shannon. No, that's got absolutely nothing to do with it. Rope break! Rope break! He got to the ropes! He got to the ropes! No way he was able to reach those ropes. And it is all on the line here.
There's so much action going on here. I cannot believe this match. This thing is just back and forth. You see him holding his neck. Who can blame him? I'm surprised he can even move. Who would have paralyzed your normal man? Look out! Foreign object! I didn't see him. Hey, he saw it. Good. He saw it. Look at him just pounding away on the ear. Get this thing stopped. Ridiculous. Ruined a perfectly good match. Are you kidding me? He just ruined a perfectly good match. I want to see who's going to win. He was willing to do anything to win. Anything. Ladies and gentlemen, he got caught is what he did. winner of the match has what the hell is he doing? A rope. Are you kidding? Hybrid wins the battle, but perhaps not the war. What do they do with that rope in there? He's going to finally exercise Shannon from the demon called the Hybrid. You gotta be kidding me. Is he gonna hog tie him here? Oh, come on! It's across the guy's mouth. Are you kidding me? It's this finishing maneuver he's using, but he's got the aid of a rope. Exercising Get this thing stopped! The demon called Hybrid. That's right, Shannon. You won't stalk her anymore. You won't stalk her anymore. Fellas, ringing this thing is out of control. Why can't you we get this stopped? Stop her anymore. Slap him again, Shannon. Slap him again. Just down there, adding insult to injury, slapping the living daylights out of this guy. He has no! Cobra now gets piled right in the face. I didn't expect to see that under his head. What in the world does any of this have to do with wrestling or being a better professional athlete? You heard his silly promo in there talking about he wanted fans to stay quiet. Look at how he's getting the shock value of beating it. Quiet now. They're quiet Cheer now because they're hybrid. concerned. Cheer for your hybrid. The demon's being exercised. I don't want to see any more of this. There's no stalker. It's ridiculous. It's just something conjured up in her mind to keep, keep this Chris Wilde under mind control. Poor Chris Wilde can't think for himself. Get it stopped, Curly. Ridiculous. If a real stand up kind of guy was running things around here, you wouldn't have a guy like Hat Guy who probably condones half of this garbage going on out here now. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah, sick of stick seeing and Cobra. No, no. Sick of seeing Spike and Cobra. Get rid of all of them. Wow. Chris Wilde going out of his mind, causing himself that match, getting himself disqualified. There was no way that Hyrule was gonna quit though. So, hybrid, I, I I gotta give it up to Hybrid. Hybrid has the gut, the will, the determination. It, I, I can't believe he kicked out of. He's uh, too distracted, man. He's too distracted. Definitely too distracted by. Hey, what? He, hybrid. He's hybrid too distracted. distracted. He's too distracted, man. He's how do you get How do you get distracted out of the match we just saw? Because he was clapping his hands and saying, "Let's go, fans!" And he was going. Hey, the and fans he, can do a was, lot for you. He was chasing Shannon around. He's Shannon Hunter needs to be chased out of the the arena, out of the building. The next match that we have for our podcast tonight, our WPW podcast, we have um, what we set, it, I guess it was set up earlier in the show on the threat. This guy, Rick Meadows. Rick Feinberg is he, my name. He came out and uh, he decided that that he had some kind of contract with Pinky or some BS. What happened? Listen, him and Pinky, Pinky signed a contract for a hat guy to go over the company. Some stupid agreement that he made up, and it didn't make any it sense. I didn't, didn't see any of the sense. paperwork. You didn't show it to me. Uh, I, I showed it to Hat Guy. And I don't have to show it to you. I, Number one, you're not the champion. Number two, you're not the owner. Number three, shut the hell up. I need to see it. I'm it's the elite. I'm the headliner on the show. You're the headliner on the show. I have my pictures on the poster. My Your pictures, pictures on, on the, the front DVD of the card. Cover. And he flipped the DVD cover over. Oh, you're the headliner. Maybe you're the first one on the card. Yes. Is that what a headliner is? No, it is not. No, but I started that card. They put me in a, in a position. started that card. A prime, just... a prime position because they know no one else could pull it off as good as me and Matt Bomboy, TNE, that show. We had to start the right, year off there. as we're a new going era. back to that. We already went over that match. We already showed it. Either that way, was the last show. Either way, I didn't see the paperwork. We're, talk we're not talking about that right paperwork. now. We're, we're talking about the match. Uh, all right, well, Hat Guy saw it. You didn't need to see it, and you need to shut the hell up. Hat Guy saw it. Hat Guy made the match. Rick Feinberg versus Ray Alexander for the heavyweight championship. Yawn. Back in January, on the threat. Yawn your face. Start it. 